I think how it's come together is fantastic. But like, yeah, I was I was kind of unsure about how it work, how they'd set it up, like the technicalities of it. But having the three stage knockout kind of set up and you know how it kind of progressively becomes a bit more intense through each stage and yeah, I, I thought it went really well. Oh, it's great. This high high adrenaline and very fast. It's great for people to come and watch. The guys have done a good job, like the tree selection was great. Like a real kind of opportunity to display some, some skills that perhaps at other formats of climbing comp they don't necessarily they aren't all, you know, coupled together like they are in this event. So yeah, it was good. Yeah, it puts a different spin on things. Hi. It was a lot of fun, honestly. Uh, pretty exhausting, um, but a new format pushes the boundaries a bit. Awesome, yeah, lots of fun. Um, it's good to have something that's based purely on speed and uh, not judge's opinion. And I uh, have it all wrapped up by sort of 2.30 is pretty handy as well. It's sort of less grueling, uh, a bit more fun, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I think it did pretty well. Uh, I was in the finals, so I was still okay, but... Yeah, no one's done anything like this before. I mean, I, overall I was really happy, so to make it to the final round I was, I was ecstatic with that. It's been a good day, all round. I think throughout the day, especially as you progress through the rounds, like just managing your energy levels. Um, you know, of course we had an endless supply of Red Bull, which was handy, but muscle fatigue is probably something that you need to be aware of, especially coming into the last rounds. Like it's late in the day, you kind of already had a couple of intense climbing stints up the tree. Yeah, it was interesting come third round because it was a bit more strategic in how you had to climb to conserve a bit of energy throughout it. It's like the first round, you know, people were doing it in under a minute 20 for the whole climb. Second round, like a minute 30, minute 40. The last round would have been well over three minutes, I think. But which is a fair bit of time up a tree when you're going flat out to still have something left in your tank. That was probably the biggest challenge. Definitely having the stamina in the third and last <laughs> round to keep up with everyone else, the other three. Definitely that uh, red station. Um, that you have a restricted rope angle on near the end of the final round when you've gassed out uh, and you've got to balance and pull yourself out there. That's definitely the, the hardest part of the whole event for sure. Staying focused after doing so many climbs already. Yeah, I've been around the tree three times today now and it's hard work, right? It's a big tree. <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the same as. Um, today and this event here like it's you know I'm kind of just looking forward to having an opportunity to climb trees with a whole bunch of other people that are really excellent at climbing trees and have this shared enthusiasm and all competitions are like that but just how this one's a bit different like the main event in October it's, it sounds like it's going to be a spectacular side big red gum like yeah it'll be really fun to just be kind of part of it yeah I can't wait to do it again big swings moving fast it's even great to watch, honestly. Great for the spectators, great for people competing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it'll be um, interesting to see. I think this event's been a success, so it'll be interesting to see how it is with 10 times as many people there, 10 times as much stuff going on. So yeah, no, it'll be awesome, definitely. I can't wait for the main event. Yeah, it'll be really good fun. It's becoming a sport, and yeah, hopefully make people think about the boil culture in a different way.